Derogatory Records Part 3. Another way derogatory records can be entered against a targeted individual is through their personal accounts, namely their social media accounts or emails. A targeted individual routinely receives spam in their email account from shady persons claiming to have access to easy money, quick money, pyramid scheme money, corrupt money. And what that does is it creates bad digital records for a targeted individual because it makes it appear as if that targeted individual is shady or has shady dealings. On social media, a targeted individual is routinely trolled by either paid, commissioned, instruct, instructed, or otherwise guided um, haters is what they are. They're full of hate and they like to express hate towards a person who is getting the word out about what they participate in and that's gang stalking. They leave bad remarks. They oftentimes report the targeted individual's account as not following the rules. They flag posts and so forth and try and get the target's account suspended or terminated, which in itself creates a bad record for the targeted individual. It creates a negative record for them on social media. And it also discourages the targeted individual from getting the word out independently. Um which is something that's very important in a gang stalking campaign is a targeted individual's independence. And that's something that's hammered by the gang stalking establishment is their independence. And mind you, it's a way of slandering a target. It's a way of discrediting them. It's a way of making their project or their endeavor useless by way of bad records. All a person has to do who's against the targeted individual and against them exposing gang stalking is say, well, look at all of the horrible records that this person has on them. Look at the legal records. Look at the psychiatric records. Look at the bad social media records. This person cannot be trusted.